Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Fairy of Love. I love you and this is my little angel. This is a big week this week. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Happy Father's Day on Sunday. Bonne fête des papas, ce beau, beau dimanche. Bonne fête, papa. Alors, à tous les papas du monde, on t'aime. To all the daddies of the world, we love you and we kiss you. This week, the sun will travel in the sign of mental, social, bubbly Gemini, and it will go into the sign of Cancer on Thursday, making us sensitive, romantic, poetic, and all that goodies for the whole month. It's happening on the 22nd on Thursday, so happy birthday to you, Gemini's. Happy birthday to you, Cancers. That's me, Tada. I'm born on the 11th. The moon will travel in the sign of Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. It's a very big week ahead. On Monday, it will have a long-term retrogression of the planet of dreams, Neptune, in the sign of Pisces, of creativity and spirituality, starting to retrograde until November for four months. And that will bring us a lot of uh, chance to reevaluate a lot of things in our lives. So it will slow things down so we could look at things more closely like a look. There's also two tricky oppositions, Venus and Mars, Sun and Neptune, and beautiful two trines with Mercury and Jupiter that brings us a time of evaluation of life's unpleasant realities, the shadow side of life. We have to look at it in the eye and fix it. That means in governmental affairs, in politics, in finances, in career, in our relationships, everywhere, in politics. We have to check things out. And trust me, there will be quite a bit of miracles and the light will really turn the dark into more light. Even some laws about pot, marijuana, immigrations will be revised and at the end of the day, for the better good of all. The highlights of the week is definitely Thursday. The sun will enter in Cancer and the summer solstice and also an annual Venus Mars opposition that invites us to have integrity in all we do. The karmic laws this week, but actually for the next couple of weeks and months, will apply very strongly. So remember in life, what goes around comes around. So there will be rewards for some and accountability for others. It means a chance to make things right. It's never too late to make the things right. We don't have any choice, do we? So let's all remember that Yes, it's true that life is a boomerang and uh, what we put out comes back. A very good week also for healing, getting medical checks, and I'll, you know, see your doctor, your dentist, or your therapist, and let go of past hurts. Let it go. Okay, the past is gone, all right? And listen also to the opinions and the point of views of women. You won't be sorry if you do. So, bon fight, papa, bon fight, and happy birthday, daddies. Cancers, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. My little cutie little crabsy that's the walk sideways. I love it. You will have a great year. I promise you. Believe in miracles. This is an intense week for you. The sun entering your sign gives you sex appeal. ta -dum! Luck and charisma and also magic. You're running around like a rabbit. And yes, uh, you're in a frenzy, but actually you like it. Health is more stable. You look fabulous and you have more energy. In career, you get answers and see your infinite potentiality. In love, you receive gratitude and lots and lots of hugs because you're giving lots and lots of hugs. <laughs> On weekend, spread your wings, my beauty, to fly high as the sky and celebrate you all the way with pink, with diamonds and flowers and wine and champagne and everything you can think about. All month long, starting this week. And also good food, good music, good companionship, and a lot of tenderness awaits for you on the weekend. Ta-da! Your magical color, of course, is pink. Ta-da! And your magical numbers are 9 and 27. Leo, the sun entering your spiritual sector brings a strong spiritual feeling, optimism, and also peace of mind. You are able to release the sort of tension that you've been living in the last couple of months, you're like, ah, I feel free at last. I'm telling you, you're gonna love the feeling, especially after Thursday. Somehow in the career, everything to do with uh, getting some advice from the peers or coworkers is a good idea to listen. Everything to do with therapy, travel, 
doctor's appointment, dentist's appointment, it's all favorite all week. And on the weekend, take a break from it all and just treat yourself to a good time, get a massage, go to the beach, go to the mountain, hang out with friends, you need pampering. Your magical color gold, lucky numbers, 2 and 11. Virgos, the sun entering your social sector brings a nice enlightening week. Get together with friends and family and catch up with the latest stories. That's what you need. A good time also to socialize and play. At work, listen to other people's point of view. You won't be sorry. Good week also to buy, to sell. And in love, your good humor really inspires others. So you're having a good time this week. On the weekend, good food, music, dancing, and all kind of good fun with other people awaits for you. Your magical color yellow lucky numbers, 8 and 14. Libra, the sun entering your career sector brings hope and optimism. You definitely want more balance in your life and you're getting it. You feel like you would like to spend more time at home maybe. Hey, listen, it is the month of June and July that's coming on the vacation, so why don't you? Quality time with your loved ones, with your friends is the time. It's good for you. And why not just do something a little bit out of the ordinary? Let's be busy and more time for the flowers. You deserve also to really, really connect with other people. They have something to give you. In career, you attract financial good fortune, so you have no worries in that department. On the weekend, express your creativity and charm. You're so cute. Go out there. Pisces and Cancer also show they care. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers 1 and 46. Ta-da! Scorpio, well, the sun entering your karmic sector bring a power week. Everyone around you are quite pleased with the way things are turning around. What about you? Are you happy with the things that are happening in your life? This is a good time to really make the changes you need to make to make sure that your health is perfect, that you're impeccable, that you're in the perfect weight, and your mind is sharp and take care of fitness. So everything to do with beauty treatments, getting back to the gym, getting back in the best you could be is the message of the stars for you this week. Your psychic impressions also are right on target. So do follow your intuition, okay? Not your mind this week. On the weekend, you feel very special and people applaud you everywhere you go. Your magical color, fuchsia, lucky numbers, eight and 44. Sagittarius, the sun entering your shared resources sector, bring more peace in your personal life. Everything you're dealing with, home, cars, furniture, uh, your personal belonging is favored. In love, you may have feelings of reminiscences, something like the way you used to, the, you, you know, the way it used to be, memories. Well, home and family is definitely supportive in all you do, so if you want to share, do it this week in career. Keep your ideas to yourself. It's time to be a little bit mysterious and secretive. You could say it like in about a week or so. On the weekend, you really, really have a good time and it's like very adventurous and uh, surrounded by people that really make you feel special. Your magical color red, lucky like numbers 9 and 45. Capricorn, the sun entering your relationship sector brings charm, confidence and also protection. Good news. Notice how some people around you really enjoy themselves these days. Well, what about you? Do you keep some leisure time for yourself? You've been going to all kinds of things going on in your life, right? This week, you could catch your breath, treat yourself to some good time with people around you, and also let people to spoil you a little bit. You receive also good news about some health situation, about a loved one, and in career, diplomacy definitely is the key to your success, but you're doing good with this. On the weekend, closeness and blessings await. Your magical color, fuchsia, lucky numbers, six and 33, ta-da! Aquarius, the sun entering your work sector brings confidence and also luck in career and finances. You attract prestige and success in everything you undertake. In love, you get also uh, very well along with other people and people are listening to your advice and ideas. This week, you are the public definitely star and you could play a very big leadership role in some social event or party or affair at work or I don't know, but you're popular. Do things your way though, all right? No concessions. On the weekend, a smile goes a long way. Your magical color, lilac lucky number seven and 34. 
Pisces, the sun entering your creative sector bring new brilliant ideas and confidence. There's a lot on your mind. You really, really need to relax and spend some time with yourself. Smuggle up with people you love and pamper yourself. That's the message of this week. In love, make things right and express your gratitude. In career, you have a smart idea for a creative project. Well, take notes and pitch it. On the weekend, let your imagination float. And your song this week, dream, 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 dream. Have fun. Your magical color blue lucky numbers, 4 and 22. Aries, the sun entering your home sector brings peace of mind and more flow in your energies. A lot of intuition and confidence in yourself. The question is, how do you deal with all the changes happening in your life in the last few months and now? Well, the answer is, be positive, optimistic, true to yourself, and make things right. Treat people with respect. Move forward. Forget about the past, and everything is going to be fabulous. In love, you are definitely in a work of process. It's like, you know, like a in work, a work in process, and you will get some results because you're working on yourself, and it's pretty cool. On the weekend, you get applause and support from many people around you. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, 6 and 31. Ta da! Taurus, the sun entering your communication sector brings strong emotions, but also the determination to succeed. No matter what, nobody can stop you. Play, pay close attention to your gut feeling, not to your mind, incidences, and, and romance. In career, there's also could be some delays or changes or decisions to be made, but somehow you will overcome everything like a champion. And also in love, be spontaneous. Open your heart. It's a good time to really, really, really share your feelings with the people you love. And somehow you could be in contact with some kind of people that could help you in the financial commitment. And don't be afraid to ask for legal advice if you do. Your magical color is turquoise, lucky numbers, 7 and 34. And by the way, your weekend will be absolutely delicious, especially in love. Gemini's, happy birthday to you. It's your last week to celebrate you. Happy birthday to you. There's so many people in Gemini's and the government, especially in the USA. So let's wish all the Gemini's and the governments a lot of good luck, including the president and the vice president. Mwah, mwah, mwah. The sun entering your financial sector, the Gemini bring you food for thought, solution and new ideas about some dilemmas you are facing in your life right now. You are in a big transition period. So go with the flow. Listen to other people's ideas or suggestions it would be good don't do it all on your own a good time also to take care of your health and make up for past mistakes some people may need your help so be there for them it will be very rewarding when you do and leo cancer and taurus really think great things about you your magical color orange lucky numbers 7 and 21 Ta -da! and now here's your wizard affirmation of this fabulous week of father's day Happy birthday to all the daddies of the world. Bonne fête à tous les papas du monde. No matter what, remember that you manifested the daddy you needed in order to learn the lessons and to also receive the gifts from that special person in your life called your dad. Alors, il faut célébrer papa, tu l'as manifesté pour apprendre les leçons de lui et recevoir ses cadeaux aussi. Alors, Quoi qu'il arrive, il faut le respecter, l'honorer et le célébrer toute la semaine. So, no matter what your daddy is, no matter what you feel, you manifested him. So just celebrate him all week long. Forgive, forget, and just hug him and kiss him and tell him that you love him. Happy Father's Day, everyone. I love you. I kiss you. It's quite a week, especially starting Thursday. And thank you for all your love and your hugs and your emails and your texts and your messenger and all those beautiful things and your likes. I love it. Bonne fête, Papa. Happy birthday, Daddy. Bye.